Welcome to uh, Fogodier's uh, channel. Today I'll be uh, teaching about how to check a job log about for any backup job. It can be a successful job, it can be a failed job under Semantic Backup Exec. So currently this is my test environment where I'm using Semantic Backup Exec 2015 on Windows 2008 uh, uh, R2. So um, it's still loading. Right, uh, we have uh, the, the backup exec uh, user interface uh, up and online now. Okay, first thing you have to click on uh, job monitor. Okay, and it will show all the backup jobs under job history here. Okay, there are uh, successful jobs and there are missed jobs. Okay, and uh, all right, so I'll go with the first uh, successful job. Just right click and uh, uh, click on uh, view job log. Okay. So this is how you will you'll open a, a backup job log. So we have two tabs on the top. One is a job history and one is a job log. So let's uh, check what we have under job history. The job history, it shows what is the job name. Okay, your uh, yeah the job name and whether it's incremental or it's a differential or it's a full backup. And it, it says uh, whether it's successful or not. And it also gives the job log location here. Okay, and what is the server name, the device name, and the media set name, and the media used? It can be your backup to disk, or it can be your tape. Um, tape. And under the job summary information, we have a. It shows the size of the backup. Okay, uh, whether it can be a byte or it can be MB, it can be GB, it can be TB, and how many files, and how many directories, and how many skip files, how many corrupted files, how many files in used. And how, and also you can check the, 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 perf, the throughput rate of the backup job here. Okay, what is the start time? What is the end time? And how much time it, it actually uh, taken to complete the backup job? All right, so this is this is your complete job information. And let's see, uh, it also shows your your backup content. So if I'm backing up a C drive or a D drive, um, so this is how uh, it shows uh, whether you're backing up a C drive or a D drive or any shared folder or any particular folder. It, it shows uh, the resource name with the, with the complete path. Okay. And whether it's using encryption or not and whether it's using any agent here, it's using advanced open file option. And we'll come back in, in a different tutorial what is advanced file option and uh, how you have how you can configure in semantic backup exec and what are the advantages of advanced open file uh, option okay all right and it also gives the media used for this particular uh, uh, i mean uh, content i mean backing up that particular content and now let's see what we have uh, other and also once the backup is done it's a complete sequence okay you have the summary you have the uh, the backup detail information and if you look at the the job fairs, the last thing is the verify job, and it also gives whether the verify is successful or not here. Okay, the same information you have the resource name and everything. All right, and let's go back now to the uh, the job log tab here on the top. So here we have the job information, device and media information, the job operation backup, job operation verify, job completion status. This can be one of your technical. Uh, question if you're going for any interview so if they ask what is job log content so you have to tell job information device and media information uh, of how uh, the backup operation and the verify and the uh, the final status so job information the same thing the, the server name the name of the job the start time and the job log information and what is the job method all right it's pretty simple and the next thing is device and media it's using which tape library which disk uh, which media label, okay, so which tape, uh, you can check all that information in this. And under the backup, it shows the backup content and also it gives a retention information also and also whether the compression is used or not here, okay. And uh, the subcategory, yeah, this is how it, it, it's, uh, it, it, it also gives the agent used. Agent used and uh, yeah, the backup set information. See the backup set information, the incremental, uh, the setup description, and the start time and end time. So it gives for uh, each and every individual files and folders or your volume level. And it also gives the detailed information how many files it backed up, 
uh, how much uh, data uh, it processed with the throughput information. And finally, the same information under the verify, whether the verify is complete or not. So you can clearly understand where your backup job failed if in case you are looking for any failed backup job. This is a, a success, this is this, this, this job log belongs to a successful backup, okay? So this is the final status. All right, now uh, the next thing I'll show you is how uh, a job log looks for the, uh, see if I click on this, I don't have a, a job log for missed backup job, okay? So uh, what I'll do is, I'll just click on run now, okay, and uh, once it starts, I will, um, it, it, it should give us a cancelled or a failed. Just, just for uh, I mean, clear picture, job has been cancelled. So this is the this is how uh, I mean, when you cancel a job, it will uh, generate a under the job history. All right, I've selected the job and uh, I've clicked on view job log and let's see how a uh, a cancelled job uh, look like job log. So we have the same information on the job history. All right, so uh, it's, it's the same job information history and the backup content and everything. And the job log, it says status cancel, the same information what we have, the server name, the type, the backup method. And we don't have more information, just the job was canceled by the user. So this is how you have to check. Let me try finding uh, any uh, failed job for us, so uh, it will be easy for you to understand. Uh, let's see here, under events, I don't see all, severity, one not warning, I don't have any uh, that, hmm, okay, what I'll do is, I will just uh, do one thing, I'll just click on edit. I'll just uh, create something where job actually uh, create a situation where job will fail for you. Okay, so that you will have an idea how what what exactly it it it, it will show. I'm just modifying the uh, the job for us. So let's say. I've just modified the uh, the job template now, and I uh, will just go ahead and uh, save that uh, backup job, and I will uh, trigger the backup job, and let's see uh, how it goes. So it's just updating the uh, the job template now for us. It will take a minute. Okay, now uh, yeah, the job has been modified. Now what I want to do is I will just click on uh, run now. And uh, showing is running. You job activity, right click. Let's see what it's gonna do now. Backup job is running. So we have all the new uh, system state I selected. I've selected couple of other folders under the C drive, let's see. Yeah, 
it's preparing a snapshot it queued up it's running now Backup job is still running. Backup job is still uh, running. Um, it's uh, 75 MB. It, it backed up. Still waiting here. Let's see the view job back 21. So let's see, understand. So it uh, directory is 9, files 4. It's still backing up. System files here. So. Let's see, it says completed, it says completed, and it's actually currently running the uh, system state backup, so let's wait then. So uh, most of them, th this backup job will, uh, will, will complete, but it will complete with exceptions. So we will also check the job log. Uh, for a uh, backup job if it's completing with exceptions or if it's getting failed okay so let's wait until the backup job uh, I'm just uh, speeding up skipping the uh, the running backup process for us so the backup job is still running it's at uh, 900 MB and hopefully yeah it will uh, get finished very soon and uh, I didn't expect it uh, it will actually grow in size so Look at the job activity, okay? Actually showing um, the bytes and the job rate in the uh, elapsed time. So it's showing uh, the under the job history, it's showing already uh, the media used for this particular backup. Okay, and uh, so it shows something as a completed with exceptions. And uh, here, what we have next now this one backup successful and uh, I think it's still running on system state I guess yeah no oh, it's crossed 1 GB Now the backup is is crossing around a 2 GB. I'm still waiting to uh, to get completed. I'm still monitoring. So I'll just speed up the video a little bit for us. Oh, the backup is crossing uh, around 3 GB. Uh, okay, so I didn't expect that the system state uh, will be uh, yeah this much of size. So I'm still monitoring. Okay guys, finally we have the backup job completed and uh, it completed with exceptions. So this can be one of uh, other category where backup job will be successful, cancelled, missed, failed, success with exceptions. Okay, so let's see what information we see uh, in this job log. So we have the same uh, tabs, job history and job log. And as I informed, uh, the job history will show about the job information. Uh, the backup content and uh, the verify and the job log shows what exactly the exception or the error message see this resource completely it's just a, a, a small warning so media information the same thing which uh, media it used backup options and this is the uh, the content part, what exactly it backed up. Okay, this is the uh, how many uh, files and directories. And then uh, the system state. 
because yeah we modified the uh, the content so so the verify job success for all uh, all the backup resources so the, again it shows the uh, the exception so what it says system state was not found in previous instance of this job it will be uh, fully protected in this job so because if you remember we modified the backup job right we uh, initially the system state is not selected and i've uh, modified the backup job so what it's saying that the same thing it's showing in the error message saying that the system state is uh, is not present in the previous backup versions however uh, in the current backup we we backed it up so so that that is the um, the exception all right so this is how you will check your backup job log and if you have any questions please use the comment section and shoot me and i will love to clarify all your doubts and if you want any tutorials i will upload the videos also for that thank you so much for watching and have a nice day and this is bob swagger your semantic backup exec tutorial uh, instructor